Hello everyone and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney for the Nintendo DS. Last time uh, during in the investigation we, we learned that a child named Cody uh, Hawkins, Hackins, I think I, I don't know if I said it correctly, um, was a prime, was supposedly a prime witness to the uh, murder of uh, Will Powers. I mean, I mean, um, Jack Hammer. Sorry, Jack Hammer. Oh wow. Uh, but anyways, um, there was some information that was uh that that he explained uh to uh Phoenix and Mia. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they uh, both uh, Phoenix and Mia decided that this was something that that shouldn't get out. But unfortunately, uh, Detective Gumshoe heard the whole thing, and now he he has been taken t uh, to court to to step uh, to approach the witness stand bench. So, without further ado, let's get started with uh with the second trial of of this case. Oh boy, this is gonna be uh it's not gonna be pleasant, <laughs> or at least I think. <clears throat> um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix? Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel practically close to him. This is, this is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know, we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, uh, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the, uh, the trial. This isn't going to be easy. Let me lower the volume on my on my part <coughs> so that I so that I can hear myself talk. All right, so here we go. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Ah, sorry. You may call your first... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if that producer is going to come out. Spoiler warning, she doesn't. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella to the stand or that director will the witness state his name and profession uh how rude can, can, can you get <coughs> sorry you don't know me i'm the director i make the, uh, the steel samurai noob uh, rofl whatever that means uh, if there's any, uh, uh, text message that, uh, that I don't know of, like, like, I mean, that I don't know what, what it means, of within, uh, this part, please, I'd really like to know in the comments, like, what do they mean? Like, I, I know about texting, but there are some, some parts of texting that I don't understand. Sal Manella, I'm a director. T TV. Yeah, uh, Edgeworth was looking at him all. Uh, like, gave him that uh, leer look. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix? Let's start by picking this t testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day 
did did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. All right, here we go. Let the let the first testimony begin. The day of the murder. Here we go. I was at the studios from around 9 o'clock that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I, I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting in, in, studio, in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4 o'clock. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in, the, in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. All right, here we go. There was something fishy uh in the the fifth in the fifth testimony but i'm not going to present any evidence i'm just going to press him for more info uh yeah uh like i said be uh in later games like you you see these dots on t t top of the of the text dialogue uh s like n numbering each statement from one to five to you know that kind of thing for the first four games, you don't get that. So you basically had to, to keep count of which uh, statement to press, uh, like on, on which statement you're at in order to present evidence or press or offer for more info. Maybe uh, if if it was in the the HD remake, uh, uh, Remasters uh, for, for the 3DS or, or Steam, then that'd be a different story. So anyways, let's get started here. So he says he, he was at, at the studio from uh, around at around 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, during that time, they, they were doing the, uh, the, the action scene run-through segment, which took a lot more, more time than usual. So everyone had lunch. In the employee area, unfortunately, uh, Salmonella and uh, the producer were, were unable to have lunch with them uh, because they were at a meeting. Uh, but the, meet, uh, unfortunately, uh, the meeting didn't last until 4 o'clock. So, so yeah, there, so there was no way uh, they, they could have been there around the time of the murder. So... So Phoenix, if his if, if his alibi holds, powers is finished. Press him as hard as as you can to find out where he's lying. Right. All right. So let's see the fifth statement. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. Let's press him here. What were you uh did this this did did uh did this Discussing. Sorry, like I said, stutter. Part of me. What were you discussing? The Steel Samurai so uh, story, or and our budget. Get this. Uh, the the sponsors turn me and say, Mr. Manella, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can you believe it? Actually, I kind of can. So nobody left uh, the table during the whole meeting. Uh, yeah, I think I might have I miscounted, so let me go all the way back. Because I don't think that uh, that was the, the fifth statement. Let's see. Alright. I, I might have lost count. There's one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. So in the end, you didn't uh, get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix, yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Hmm, yeah, it does seem a bit contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd, now that you mention it. 
Mr. Manella? Hmm? What do you mean? When I went to, uh, to that trailer, I saw something on the table. There were two plates on the table. The same kind of plates as in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? <laughs> no, uh, 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 good call. I, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to, uh, to, to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I'd suspect as much. So, when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during the meeting. No, during that meeting. I uh, wolfed it down then. <laughs> a mental image I will carry with me to the grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in, in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on. Sorry, I'll press on uh, that one a bit more. Alright, so... Let's keep going here. Let's see, so which one is the last one now? Okay, uh, let's see which one. Here it is. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. You didn't take a single break? Uh, well, yeah. Not, not a one. Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Let's press some for more info. Wait a second. Mr. Manila, you've contra you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oops. <laughs> well, um Mr. Manila, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to to, to, to the studio during that time. Your Honor? I'm <coughs> sorry. I, can, uh, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. M Mr. Manella? Your testimony, please. <laughs> Uh-oh. Edgeworth is laughing. Hmm. Laughing about what, though? The break. Sorry about that. The, the next uh, testimony is called The Break. Uh, yeah. FWIW. We t took a break. But it, but it was only 15 minutes. 15. That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One. <laughs> That's only just enough time to, to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. Hmm, I don't think it would even be enough time for that. But that's just fine with me. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Alright, here we go. So yeah, it's called The Break. So... So yeah, they took a break. But let's press on for more info here. What time exactly did you take this break? Uh, sorry. Hmm. I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30? That's the time of death. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. Okay, but it's... But the break only lasted about 15 minutes, and he said not enough time to commit murder-suicide. Yeah, about that. Let's press him. Why is that? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, 
the testimony to this to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the tra in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for for any one any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something. Uh, so, ah, sorry. So something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in in the trailer who, of went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your 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 answer. Do you claim someone for, from trailer or for, from the trailer went to, to Studio One? Uh, unfortunately, no. It's impossible because remember, from Studio Two all the way to Studio One, they would have to take a long walk. Hence, uh, that, that, uh, that, that's why they travel uh, via van. So, nope, it's impossible. I don't want to, to write off so many possible suspects. But I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to, to, to the studio in that time. <laughs> I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True. The break-in of the trailer meeting came right after the time of death. However, the path from there to, to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Mrs. Monkeyhead barred the way. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the, uh, the studio's mascot head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point, and somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella f from the stand. What? It's over? Very well. The court's op opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. <clears throat> Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Order! I will have order! I see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Yay, recess! Oh, I'm gonna go play in the playground. <laughs> Alright. So we're back at the lobby. This is not looking good for, for, for Will Powers. Oh. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm s I'm s Sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do, do I have? D -d -d Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while the, uh, there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone t t to s Studio One. I thought there was more to it th than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, what's what's going to happen to me? It's kind. Of, it kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. 
They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the other steel samurai hero to, to children everywhere, after all. I... You... Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Alright. Back in the court we go. <clears throat> court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern, as our witness is a great schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case. We worry that, uh, that, that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with this cruel questioning. Pfft, look who's talking. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins uh, to, to the stand. It was Hackins, not Hawkins. <laughs> Sorry. Oop, wait a minute. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to, to stand on. Oh, uh, right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Much better. There we go. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness. What? Just because you're all grown up don't mean don't mean you can push me around. <laughs> yeah, take that, Edgeworth. <laughs> Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in s s second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> but yeah, take that, Edgeworth. <laughs> Witness, or I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, or you were at Global Studios on the day of the uh, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? Are you, uh, 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 want me to, to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just... Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer bearded gentlemen to <sighs> a very long day. And thankfully, I was able to, to catch up uh, uh, be uh, before that dialogue went fast. I did not push anything, by the way. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in, in this courtroom. <sighs> my, my apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't uh, testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, so, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know uh, how to use it at all that good yet. Uh, re uh, remember that for later. Remember that, that, that little line for later. He has yet to fully... Since he barely got that camera, he, he's, he still has a lot to learn on how to actually use it. Keep that in mind. But I bring it uh, with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make a, a, a note of it in the court record. And thus we have another piece of evidence. Cody's camera. Let's take a look at it first before we move on. A new d d digital camera. Cody always carries it, though he's still learning how to use it. As I said, remember that. All right. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. Okay, here we go. Witnesses account. 
I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for, uh, for the, the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though for, for about 30 minutes. When I came out uh, by the studio, uh, there was uh, the Steel Samurai. It totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, uh, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been uh, the time for a shot, I tell ya. Anyway, I couldn't get into uh, to the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. And be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher uh, than most adults we see in here. Honestly. Alright, here we go. <sighs> so, I saw something in the, the fourth statement. So, let's see. So, yeah, basically... Cody snuck in into to the studio in order to, because uh, he w wanted to see uh, the rehearsals, like for the first time. So basically, he found a map on the internet, and uh, he he found a way inside. Uh, I think I passed the fourth statement. Let me see. Okay, this is the first statement, second statement, third statement, fourth statement. Alright, this could be it. Did nothing unusual happen on your way t to the studio? Unusual? Did you see this uh, monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean... Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. So you went straight to the studio? I got kind of lost on the way for uh, on the way though for about 30 minutes. Okay, this was the actual one that I had to to press. So you got lost in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't f figure out which way I was walking. Man, was I relieved uh, when I saw the blue blue s studio doors. But guess what happened next? When I came out uh, by the studio, uh, there was uh, the s s steel samurai. Okay, I'm... Uh, let's see... It's because I was supposed to press on the fourth one, though. On the fourth... Okay, there's one. Two. Three. Four. Okay, so... Oh, okay, okay. Now I remember now. I got kind of lost and on the way for about 30 minutes. Yeah, I apologize if this part will take very long. It totally rocked before my eyes. Out came out the bad guy, of course. Ah, here it is. If I had my camera with me, that would have been uh, the time for a, sh for a shot, I tell you. Okay. That was the one that, that, that was supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. I, I didn't r read that part there, but I found well, what I needed to do. It was this part right here where I had to present. If I had my camera with me, that would have been uh, the time for a shot. I tell ya. Okay, so let's present the camera here. Objection. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh-oh, I was putting the pressure on too much. What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's, um, a d d digital camera, your honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring 
your camera on a trip to, to, to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to, to terrorize a poor child so... I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? What? Yeah, so I have my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I... I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. Alright, so the next uh, testimony. What I saw. Yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. The steel samurai, he goes for, uh, for the bad guy. Wham! Then... The bad guy stopped moving. So he's strong. The, uh, the seal samurai rules. Alright. Hmm. Ah, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Alright, so he did bring his camera. The only thing was he didn't use it because he uh, his eyes were totally... Uh, was caught, was, he, like, he was caught, told, like, uh, how should I put this? Uh, he was paying way too much attention towards the action. Too much of it that, uh, he didn't break out his camera and it's just, just to take a picture of it. So, yeah, that, that's basically w w what was going on. So, yeah, it's as he says, but I was, I was glued to, to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off. All right, so then the bad guy stopped moving. Really? Let's press. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him t to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With the Samurai Kick! And a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap, S something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Ooh. Yes, how should you play this? Let's press him for more. We need more info. Cody? W what? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah, so what? Yet you missed the important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. Mm -mm, you know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a, 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 a samurai slap? <laughs> My point is this, Cody. You may have seen some, some of the Steel Samurais fight, uh, uh, some of the Steel uh, uh, Samurais fight, but you missed the most important part: the killing blow. Order, order, Mr. Wright. How could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um. Well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer? We have ascertained that, that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Up. Let's show him some evidence. Uh, which is the third option here. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away for, from the fight? 
Let's present the camera. Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Uh, correct. Why would Cody, uh, sorry, why would Cody be looking somewhere else at that, at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. What, what, what's your problem, Pops? You, you, you got a thing for, for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could stand there while watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody, there was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to, to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Hmm. Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Having him to testify again. Right. Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. V very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera? About why you didn't take a picture of, of the fight? Um... Welcome to, to the real world, kid. Alright. No photo? Hmm. Alright, here we go. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened, yep. Hmm, that third statement caught my attention. Anything strange in the uh, t uh, t testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Alright, here we go. As I said, there was something in the... Uh... Third testimony, or it might have been the last one, but let's see. So yeah, uh, Cody. Tr so apparently, Cody tried to take a photo, but he 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 couldn't take a picture of it because uh, the 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 lens was wouldn't open up. So basically, he missed it. All right, so let's press for info. When did the, uh, the lens open? Oh, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground and the steel samurai. Oh, that, that's all that happened. Yep. Hmm. He had a different exp uh, expression when he when he said that last take the uh, statement. But now uh, when uh, when he said the, the last statement, his emotions kind of changed. That's all. Yeah, I told you, I didn't take a picture. Hmm, I would have once I got that lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? Oh, let's, let's press for more info. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey, Bullseye? Um, yeah, he said it with a question. How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Wow. This feels great. Yeah, yeah, I, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your t testimony to reflect this, Cody. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Hmm. 
so yeah that's our revised um statement here so let's present him with something that was given to us cody what man everything uh, uh, man, uh, sorry man every time you say cody you, you follow it with something bad I just wanted to thank you for, for giving me uh, this the other day. Huh? Oh, uh, right. What was it you told me then? I got every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wizam! I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Cody? Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it I find it hard to believe that you would you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for, for your album? Ah, Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. Though here it says something else. Samurai scrapbook yeah I know it's supposed to uh, say something uh, like in kanji but yeah they had they really had to translate it to, to say S -S samurai scrapbook it's a collection of pictures of the steel samurai all taken by Cody Hackens he claims it's a perfect collection for of every battle of the steel samurai has won I I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright, have you, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had, had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. Ah, uh, no, wait, no way. Phoenix, I think we finally discovered uh, the, the the truth. And and what a truth it is. M Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Yes, I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? Well, you're not going to believe this, but it's the truth. The Steel Samurai didn't win. I could think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai d didn't win. That's why Cody d d deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated uh, the Steel Samurai. N n n no way. N no. It's it's impossible. The the Steel Samurai never loses. He never lost to anyone ever. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the, uh, the Steel Samurai lose. Yet, to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said uh, the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the, uh, the truth. Ooh, not an easy thing to say. Uh, order, I will have order. W witness, I mean Cody, is this true? W what did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... Yeah, he had to cry. 
Cody, that day y you saw the, uh, the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? <laughs> okay, okay, y you're right. The, uh, the, uh, the, the Steel Samurai f fell down. Then he m he didn't m move. Oh well. Order! 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 What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently we we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Oof, alright. So apparently the Steel Samurai was the victim. Don't worry, everything will be revealed uh, in, in the, the last two parts, so... If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the, uh, the, the Steel Samurai was not the killer. He w was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order! Order! So the Steel Samurai in this photograph, you're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. But, but wait, hadn't Mr. H Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him go to, to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to, to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole uh, the Steel Samurai costume. But why would uh, the victim do s s s s such a thing? I don't know. I get it. Hmm? I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside that suit. Pops. Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. D data? Yeah, a photo on my d d digital camera. Hmm. What? Show us, quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. Now! Here, this is it. Well, uh, look at this. It's still hard to, 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 to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't uh, this is decisive evidence. I'm sorry. This doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia? What? Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is... Uh, sorry, that... F f f f the photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Y Your Honor, may I see that photo uh, once more, please? S certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. Uh, there's a glaring uh, decisive I inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Inconsistent. Eh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Uh, find uh, the inconsistency in the photo. So yeah. Um, but which two? Cause this uh, actually looks like an S when you look at it. 
Um, I guess we, I can try this too right here. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Uh, I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to, uh, uh, to, to the number on that gate? The number? Ah, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Certainly not a one, y Your Honor, correct? Ah! I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. B but th that's impossible. Hmm? Huh? What's 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 uh, uh, this, this all about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the, the rest of the court. I'll use uh, the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what do you see? I mean, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true crime uh, scene of the crime. So let's show the, the the judge where this is. Hold on, let me switch here. Yeah, so that uh, everyone, can, uh, so all of you can have a, a better chance of uh, seeing the, the whole thing. So let's point to Studio Two. All right, switch here at Studio Two. I see. That would explain uh, the two on the gate in in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murderer, sorry, that, that the murder took place in Studio Two. The trailer is there. Where else? As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio Two. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a uh, sorry. Uh, there was a break in the meeting corresponding to, to the time of death. During that break, uh, Mr. Salmonella and, and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. The path to the trailer was blocked, so we so we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember uh, Mr. Salmonella's testimony. Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the, uh, the, the trailer could have committed this murder. There were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime. Studio 2. Uh, uh, order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person uh, uh, that the security guard Miss Olback saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a Steel Samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim! The victim! Why would he steal a Steel Samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up uh, the, de uh, the details of his own murder? Well, no. Of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole the costume. Oh, you want proof? I'll give you the proof. I have proof. Y you do? You do, Mr. Wright? Now that they're, they're, they're so surprised, I'm m much less confident. I think I'm alright, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Well, of course, the empty bottle. If you recall what I said before, the label reads, Sleeping Pills. This is it. An empty bottle? Uh, sorry, an empty m m medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, Sleeping Pills. Sleeping Pills? Uh, the defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. 
Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes? But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Ah. Sorry, my, my feet were kind of itchy there. Alright, so we're going to fingerprint the bottle. An idea? Very well. Let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for, for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. <laughs> hmm? I suppose you're right. Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. Alright, so we give the bottle to the judge. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hackins' testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldback may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the, the, the Steel Samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. The trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last, uh, this is the last extension. Ah. Very well. Court is adjourned. Phew. Oh, wow. All right. Let's see. We're back at the lobby. Phew. That was a close one. Oh, 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 oh we were saved by a hair. But that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home up about three times during uh, the trial. Me too. Really? You both seem so... so confident. Huh. Maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to, pr to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. D dead <laughs> Of course we're kidding. I was... No, I was kidding. <laughs> A uh, 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 phoenix in his mind. I wasn't. <laughs> All right, but anyways, are you sure? I wasn't. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> oh wow. <laughs> now, Mr. Powers, we have to go and make our final investigation. But I promise you, we will find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right. Thanks. All right, so that's it for for the second trial. Next time we go th go through our final investigation, and then in the next part we'll go through the final trial for Mr. Will Powers. So until then, everyone, take care and God bless. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and share with all your family and friends. If you're enjoying my content, consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to click that bell to receive notifications for new videos. Take care, and God bless.